Hello and welcome to weekly strategic finance tips from the Startup Station. Today we're going to discuss a very scary topic, five reasons why you may lose control of your company. According to Harvard Business Review, four in five founders will lose control of their company. Now, don't be so afraid by the statistics. Sometimes it will be because the founders wanted the exit. They don't like to be involved with the company long term. They never want to be CEO, right? Sometimes it's their choice. But we're going to focus um, about here is that um, on situations where it's not your choice and what is it that you can do to avoid it. And so reason number one is you raise too early and you give away too much equity. You give away too much control, right? And of course, as a founder, you're never sure when is the right time to raise. Uh, as a rule, raise as late as possible, okay? Raise initially just the capital you need to move to the next stage because you want to give away, as a rule, as little of your company as possible, right? It needed to get a viable product prior to seeking VC funding, get some traction, right? Reason number two, you took a deal that was a bad deal. You did not hire a good lawyer. You were saving money and now you're paying for it. I cannot tell you uh, how important it is to get a good legal advice, right? That's not the money you want to save. Even if you really need the capital, you still need to take the right capital. Some of the things to um, watch out for would be liquidation preferences, voting rights, control information rights, conversion triggers for instruments such as safe and convertible debt. If you don't pay attention, to those clauses, you may end up in a situation where either the investors take the company away from you, they take too much cash out of the company, or they make it very, very difficult for you to raise future rounds of financing. And voting rights will prevent you from doing things that will be, from your perspective, in the best interest of the company. Reason number three, we see long-term strategy is not aligned with your interests. Uh, and this is a more uh, about how do you manage your board, right, which represents your investor interests. How do you make sure that you're in alignment? So you need to understand when you take an investor uh, and when you're thinking of taking their money, what do they want out of this relationship, right? You want their capital, what do they want? You need to understand their long-term goals. And you need to understand their uh, long-term goals both uh, as uh, it relates to the company like their company overall, and to your specific deal, right? And what can tell you that more than anything is the term shift, right? Read the terms, you know, you may have people telling you, we're here with you, we're here to support you, and you look at the term shift and it tells you something else. Believe the term shift. Check carefully the history of work of which we see and how they treated other portfolio companies. Okay, it's because actions speak louder than words. Nothing will tell you more about what they did at their previous track record. Reason number four, poor corporate governance, right? You have no board structure or a communication strategy, right? And so as a result, you may lose contact with the board and they can push you out, right? This is one of um, the things that they do is they replace the management if they don't like it. And you may remain a shareholder, but you will lose your position as CEO and sometimes chairman of the board. So here uh, is pretty easy uh, what you should do. You should review your corporate governance policies, implement new communication strategy, make structural changes, following best practices to ensure that your board has the expertise that you need so that you have this additional resource to make decisions. And the final reason is that you didn't do something. Right? You didn't do something, things did not go uh, as planned. And as a result, you have unmet expectations resulting in a lack of trust. And so we did a whole video about that uh, a couple of weeks ago. And so you need to um, communicate clearly what's going on and take responsibility, present an action plan to remedy the situation and get the board's buy-in, right? So you need to constantly manage the board and ensure alignment with your strategy. And even things don't go wrong, that is expected. What's not expected is not to be truthful about it, is not to have a contingency plan. Right, The fact that you can have changes that is part of the company's journey and part of the company's growth. 
So these are the five reasons. And now you know some of the things to watch out for uh, and not do in your journey as a founder in order for you not to lose control of your company. And here you go. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please share with your friends and colleagues and other startups. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more very useful content and strategic financial tips next week. And follow us on social media every week. We post a lot of really useful content. And um, this can really help you move your business forward. See you next week.